Gaia went missing on Tuesday, November the 7th, but police they are confident they have found her body. A post-mortem examination of the body found in the hunt for missing teenager Gaia Pope suggests she was murdered and no one else was involved in her unexplained death. Yesterday afternoon Dorset police said they were confident they had found Gaia after a body was recovered from a coastal path in Swanage, near where items of her clothing were found on Thursday. But they claim after an initial examination her death is still being treated as unexplained. Greg Elsie, 69, whose ex-wife, grandson and son were initially arrested for her murder but then released has said he is saddened but not surprised her death is not being treated as suspicious. Speaking this evening, Detective Superintendent Paul Kessel, of Dorset Police's major crime investigation team, said, the post-mortem examination has not identified any injuries to suggest any other person was involved in her death. The cause of death is undetermined pending toxicology. The coroner is involved in the oversight of these examinations but at this time this remains an investigation into an unexplained death. The area where the body was located is likely to remain cordoned off for some time while forensic examinations and searches are concluded. In a heart-wrenching Facebook post today, Gaia's cousin Mara E. Pope Weidman, pictured with Gaia, wrote, We hold you in our hearts forever. You will have justice. Fly on Mara E. appeared alongside Gaia's father on Good Morning Britain, left, earlier in the week, where she asked members of the public to help their search efforts. He also begged those who were taking part in the search for the missing 19-year-old to remain at home, adding, please can I ask that the public no longer attend to assist with searches and that they remain a safe distance from the location. I reiterate this area is steep and slippery in an exposed area close to sea cliffs. The area is covered in dense undergrowth and gorse and can present a hazard. Only specially trained search and forensic teams are entering the area assisted by Dorset and Wiltshire Fire and Rescue Service recovery teams. The police also said Gaia's distraught family is issuing their thanks to the Find Gaia volunteer group for all their hard work and unwavering support. Gaia went missing on Tuesday, November the 7th and was last seen in a distressed state at the home of her childhood friend Nathan Elsie. Speaking tonight Greg Elsie said, I have just heard. It's terribly sad and at this time we must all think of Gaia. Candles were lit across Dorset and beyond to remember Guy Pope with residents sharing pictures on social media. I was saddened by the news but not surprised, it's what we have been saying all along. Of course we did hear it from police. You might have thought they would pick up the phone to our family but they did. Her cousin Mara E. Pope Weidman vowed she will have justice after detectives searching for the missing teenager found the body in a field. In a heart-wrenching Facebook post today, she wrote, my beautiful baby girl, so sunny and kind but tough as f asterisk asterisk asterisk.